Hi guys, welcome back to Decorating Happily Ever After. I'm Jeffrey Kevin. Well, summer is drawing to a close. The heat is relentless and the last of my hydrangeas are in full bloom. So I've set a summer's end tablescape. I'm using a color scheme of gold and green, vintage china, and creamy green hydrangeas. So let's take a look around the table. For today's tablescape, I'm using a gold damask tablecloth. And I'm going to use my gold chargers. The china I'm using today is Noritake Ireland. The pattern is Amapola, and that's Arabic for poppy. And as you can see, they have gold poppies with green leaves. And I'm also going to be using the salad plate. I have the bread and butter. I'm going to use my gold flatware along with my cut glass knife rest. For the stemware, I have pale gold glasses that I'm going to pair with another set of gold glasses that have a gold rim and etching. I'm using green dinner napkins that I fan folded. And lastly, I have the teacup and saucers, which I never seem to have room for on the other side, so I'm going to put them here on the bread and butter plates. For the centerpiece, I've used my Limelight Hydrangeas. They're so pretty this time of year. They're one of the late blooming hydrangeas that I have in the yard. All of my early ones have faded and turned to tan, but these are green and cream. And I've placed them in a pretty sort of classical urn. It has cherubs and Greek women on it. It's from Portugal and I found that at Goodwill. You may remember I used that a few videos back, but if you have a good container, you can give it new life and use it over and over. Just reinvent it. And here on either side of the arrangement, I have these candlesticks. They're brass and I've put green candles in them. And I'm using large hurricane globes. I found those at an antique shop, even though they're actually not antique. You can find lots of things though at antique shops and what I call junk shops. <laughs> but they're large and I like them for the size. Here at this end, I collect cheese dishes as you guys know and I have a pretty cheese dish. It's that green blush with yellow roses. I thought the pattern blended pretty um, with these dishes today. And this is a reproduction, it isn't old. I believe I picked this one up at an antique mall. The dishes mother found for me when she was out uh, thrifting one day. I believe she paid $20 for the set, so that was a good deal. They were missing a few teacups, and so I got on eBay and got some replacement teacups. Here I have a little gem jar. It has gold edges. I think I got that at an antique shop years ago. And 
I also have a sugar cellar. It has a little scoop at the back that you use to scoop the sugar out with. And you guys know me, if one is good, two is better. I was at an estate sale and found a second of the little cheese dishes, so I thought, well, why not pick up another one? At this end of the table, I have a gold cake stand. This is a vintage one. I've had it for a long time. I believe I got it in an estate sale. And I've just set a dome on top of it, a glass dome. I didn't have a set of dishes that had a green and gold color scheme, so I like these because they're a bit different with the poppies. And I think the, the way the vines and the limbs twist on the plate, they have a slightly oriental flair to them. Here's just a little green bottle that I set on the table. I believe when I found this container at Goodwill, it had some hideous plastic flowers in it that I threw away. <laughs> uh, I think I paid two dollars for that, but it's a nice shape and fits the table well. I've got a gold roly-poly style pitcher at this end. This also came from an estate sale. I have the green one that belonged to my grandmother, and I thought, well, I'm going to pick up a gold one, too. My hydrangeas have been exceptionally beautiful this year, all of them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave me a comment below. Give this video a thumbs up. Be sure and subscribe to my channel, Decorating Happily Ever After, and turn on the notifications bell so you never miss a video. I'm Jeffrey Kevin, hoping that you decorate happily ever after. Bye-bye now.